just crawled out of bed. Friends, it is Vlogmas Day 8. <laughs> um, I literally just stepped out of bed and like turned on the camera. Like my eyes are barely open right now, but I'm trying to film a little bit early so I can get ahead of it. I have a leader dinner this evening. I might meet up with some friends who are flying in from New York City tonight, and it's just busy. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started, but I'm trying to just wake up. But I have exciting news. You guys, look. It's snowing. It's officially Vlogmas. All right, today we are not messing around. We're going to go open advent calendars. Oh, an illuminating eye serum. I could use that right now. <laughs> a nourishing conditioner. Day eight. We got bath salt. That excites me. I love a good bath salt. Day eight. We're meeting Coco. Oh. Friends, this is wild. That's the end of this first book. That means we only have two more to do. Pour some sugar on me. These are the birthday cake bites. So stinking good. Have a holly dolly Christmas. And some Christmas candies festively wrapped in red and green. I've not eaten any of the candy yet. I just keep stashing it away. Spice up your life. Day eight. I don't know if you could hear it in the background, but Stephen kept saying Spice Girls in the funniest way last night, and it cracked me up. Day eight. Oh my gosh. It's a Merlot wine salt. Today's vlog has to be done very early today because I have a leader holiday dinner party tonight. I'm meeting up with friends for drinks that are coming into town. Like there's just a lot to do. However, I do want to share a gift guide with you. You should be able to get these in time with prime shipping, but I think they're really good gifts and they're very reasonable and they're thoughtful and people's personal preferences in my life have helped kind of guide these gifts. So I have my little list here and I'm going to share those with you. One thing that I am giving this year to myself and to others are bedside water carafes. There are two on Amazon that I particularly like. One that has a more modern vibe and one that has like a very vintage vibe. I have bought one for myself. It should be arriving this week. I'll share it with you once it comes. I bought the vintage inspired just because I loved it, but they're so reasonable and make such a beautiful gift for a bedside table. They're also great to have in guest rooms. I love a beautiful glass oil or vinegar decanter and some come with like beautiful wooden trays or beautiful like little like handled holders. Give that with really good olive oil or really good vinegar. We have a local olive oil and vinegar shop. William Sonoma carries a beautiful olive oil and a beautiful balsamic vinegar. I just think it's a wonderful gift and it's such a nice thing to have that you rarely will buy yourself. If you have a cook in your life, there is nothing better than a really good salt and pepper grinder with really good salt and pepper. And I love like a beautiful like acacia or olive wood salt and pepper grinder and they can get very costly but I found some really reasonable and beautiful options. They're just so nice to have. I recent, not recently, a few months ago I finally invested in like a very nice set from Holistic Habitat. I'll leave their shop down below as well and I use them every day and I love them but I think it's just a beautiful gift to give someone. Another gift that I'm giving myself and to others is not just kindness but the Hatch Restore Alarm Clock. It is this amazing alarm clock that wakes you up in a very natural calm way, helps you build out sleep schedules, has a companion app to help you track your sleep, it has like a reading light when you want to read. It's just a really all-encompassing alarm clock that I think is really great. It was actually shared with me from Danielle who uses it and loves it. So it's a gift that I'm giving and a gift that I'm giving myself. Another thing that I love to give is like a really good set of adult coloring books that have 
something to do with the person or are very inspirational and have affirmations in them. I just think it's a beautiful way for someone to decompress, especially someone you know who needs moments to decompress and like a beautiful set of colored pencils to color with, I think is just a really great gift and something that people don't buy themselves or even think about buying. So I think it's like a very unique gift that could be very personal and also gives people a tool of calm and relaxation, which I think if you can give that to anyone, please do. There are a handful of books that I am gifting this year. One is Untamed by Glennon Doyle. One is Atlas of the Heart by Brene Brown. I am almost done with it and it is phenomenal. I am gifting the Untamed Companion Journal with the Untamed book. I have worked through the journal and it's fantastic. Another book that I'm giving is the gift is the I don't know if it's a cookbook, but it's called Platters and Boards. I've shared it before on my channel. It's how to set up charcuterie plates, but they're based on seasons and holidays and has all sorts of great ideas. That book paired with like a beautiful platter or board from Home Goods that is reasonably priced, it makes such a great gift. You can like twine them together. And then the other gift that I think is spectacular is the Life You Want Planner by Oprah. Um, it's for 2022. It's a beautiful planner and a really nice gift to give someone, especially someone who's really into planning. This will come to no surprise to you, but I will still be giving my Chefin chopper that I use and have recommended 5,437 times on this channel to people who cook in my life. It is the one tool that I use every day in my kitchen every day it has been beat up i've had it for years it is incredible and i give it every year as a gift and it makes every gift guide and every gadget video because i love that thing so much another mind i should have bucketed these better but it was just my brain listing off things that i'm giving another thing that goes along with like the coloring book idea of like relaxation and like relieving some stress I found this beautiful set of calming puzzles that are broken up across days and I think they're only like 200 300 pieces and you put them together and they're supposed to be very calming and relaxing the imagery on them is very calming and relaxing and I think they're stellar the other thing that I wear all the time and I've had for years is the CC beanie hats with the faux fur um I don't know what you call it ball on top um pom pom i think they are the highest quality most reasonably priced beanie for the cost they are just so nice they are so warm they are so soft i love them they sell out of colors very quickly but they are recently all in stock except for the one green color that i wanted to buy someone um, but they're by a company called cc and they are fantastic gifts and really reasonably priced i think another great gift is scarves and if you have an anthropology near you, there are two scarves this year that I'm giving as gifts. One is the tassel scarf. I just think it's so chunky and the tassels are so long. It's like just looks so cozy. And the other one is the pocket scarf. It has actual pockets built into it and it looks like it's a very good length. Those are two that I've recently ordered. And I think a scarf and a hat are such good gifts because you can never have too many and people always, always appreciate like a really good hat and a really good scarf. So those are gifts. Oh, wait, I forgot one. The other thing that I'm gifting this year is the Table Topics Original Conversation Starters. I think in the last two years, We've either had really great conversations or we have lacked in conversations. So I am gifting table talk conversation cards. Steven and I have used them. I have a couple sets up in my office. I've used them with team members, but they are beautiful conversation starters that you just pull out and just discuss. I think it makes such a cool, unique gift. Well, friends, those are the gifts that I'm giving this year and things that I've recently bought that I really enjoy. The list is not long, but the list is really thoughtful and things that you might not normally think of to give. So that's kind of my 2021 gift guide for all of you. And with that, we are wrapping up Vlogmas Day 8 this early because I don't want to be up all night vlogging and trying to edit and upload and all those things so i thought we'd do the gift guide we do the advent calendars and we would call it a day i'm going to end this video like i end all of them 
everything I discussed is linked down below for you. In the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.